ever thought, how can I get my water parameter data from my test strips onto my smartphone? Well then the JBL ProScan might be just for you. What's up all you fish nerds, James here, and in this video we're gonna be talking about the JBL ProScan. So this is um, essentially test strips, which you scan onto a app on your smartphone, and that pulls for all the data and gives you detailed analysis of all that information. And I think from what I've read, you can then keep a log and a record of uh, all your testing so you can track it as you go along your water changes and your aquarium journey. So let's go check it out. So here it is, here's the box. Um, it's quite nicely designed. Um, all the information there that you need to. Um, and if we open the box and have a look inside, what do we get? So we get a pack of test strips in a strong sort of bottle, which is cool. Um, what's this? Oh, um, a card for all the different readings for your test strips. So I gather you lay your strip on here and then you would scan this with the test strip on onto your smartphone. And what else do we get in the box? The manual, which I never read enough of, so maybe I should on this one. Um, gives you all the usual gumph. So yeah, according to the instructions, what I have to do is scan or dip my test strip into the water of the aquarium, drip it off so there's not too much water on it, lay it on my card here, and then open the app, take a picture, and then that should scan the data for me. So let's try it out. So I like to leave my test strips in for about 30 seconds, just sort of waving them about a bit and see how I get on. So we go, lay it down, which is a bit fiddly, and I need to go take a picture. So I'm recording on my phone right now, so I'm going to have to exit a second and have a look. Okay, let's go to the app. Here we go. And when you open the app, you get two options. So we're just gonna do the quick scan for now, but you can create an account and keep all your data on there. So let's go quick scan, aquarium. And this is how to use. So press the start button and immerse the analysis to strip into the water for two, two seconds. Shake the window, position the strip over the card and wait until the time has expired. So press start, allow. Okay, so we have to wait until the time's expired. But to be fair, after all the faff and I did get in the app downloaded and then uh, an app to record my phone screen it's actually been longer than the time that's on the screen anyway so uh, this test strip should be more than ready So it says pay attention to the brightness. And there we go. So it looks like it shows all the details of my parameters at the moment. And it looks like based on this, I need to do a water change. Um, 
possibly my nitrates are high because um, I dose a lot of fertilizer with this because it's a CO2 aquarium and I'm trying to get the plants to grow so that might be why but um, yeah interesting also it's uh, pretty cool that you can go into detail about uh, the different um, options here so if I click nitrate for example uh, details there um, it then gives you its results and suggestions about what to do to resolve that apparently most of my values are too high I'll be honest that's actually pretty cool to know the, the, the actual details there. Um, just don't judge me on the fact that uh, my nitrates are quite high at the moment. Clearly I need to do a water change. So I just wanted to give you my final thoughts on the JBL ProScan um, test strips. And uh, yeah, I think they're actually really cool. Um, obviously you're never going to get the results that you would if you were using maybe uh, liquid test kits but again I have no proof there um, because I don't have a liquid test kit uh, to test this against so that would be interesting to let me know you know what everybody else is, is trying out or if you've tried this before um, I think it's a great product though and I definitely think they're going in the right direction in terms of innovation and stuff. One thing in particular that I find frustrating um, with a lot of these uh, you know automatic systems and everything that you can get you know um, like the Senais and stuff um, is that they're great but they're so expensive and I want something quick and convenient which I like about test strips but I also want you know that the, the, the um, the correct readings or, or m more you know precise readings I guess uh, and I know you can get them from liquid test kits but I just don't like the idea of having to faff around with them you know most of us I'm sure you can admit we probably don't have a lot of time in the evenings and I'd rather spend it doing my maintenance and I, I know people would say you know testing your aquarium should be part of that but I just feel like I want something just a bit more speedy than having to get a a load of uh, test tubes out, line them all up and then put my water in it, shake them up, wait ages for the results and then thingy, you know, I, I just want something that I can sort of get a little bit more quicker. So I definitely think they are going in the right direction with uh, this system. Um, had I point out maybe a flaw in it would probably be the, you know, the option on the app itself where once you've uh, dipped your test strip into the water, there should be maybe an option where you can skip past the countdown. Uh, the countdown's great because obviously it gives you a chance to, uh, the, sorry, the test strip a chance to um, color up and everything. But if you've already done what I do before, which I've got a habit of, is putting it into the aquarium, dipping it around, then I lay it onto this, then I unlock my phone, then open the app, and then by the time I've done all of that, and plus the countdown, the test strip is like, is, is tend to matured longer then so I don't know if I'm getting the readings that I'm supposed to or if I'm supposed to open the app and physically press the button as I dip the test or take the test strip out of the water um, it's not much I guess you know it's just something that I've uh, picked up on but it's, I wouldn't say it's as far from a, a flaw really in the system um, in terms of like I said the app um, previously I think uh, the app works really well um, I like the fact that you can add all your aquariums onto it and keep a track of everything that's going on it's so helpful um, I've seen other I think the Tetra I think they do a sort of similar thing where you can sort of write down the readings on an app but I quite like the one the fact that you can kind of scan it in on this one so yeah that's an that's that's really cool so I definitely think this is something to to check out and something that probably you know is something good for you know us every day hobbyists um, to look into and um, and work with really because you know like I said before not everybody's got the time to, to spend ages uh, getting test kits out and you know people have got the digital ones um, which are really cool but again there's a price to it so you know for something like this which is a lot cheaper than them then it's definitely worth a shot 
you know so yeah that's all i've got to say on the matter really um i like the product i think it's really good so i i'd recommend checking it out and uh, i'd love to know what you think um in the comments below so definitely definitely let me know if you've tried it so i hope you liked this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button uh, so you don't miss out on any future content from me uh, i put out weekly videos um, sometimes two a week i'm trying really hard to try and get two a week but don't count me on it definitely once a week on a thursday at the moment um, so yeah there's something for everybody i hope so uh, yeah make sure you hit that bell notification so you don't miss out and until next time you stay safe